is our tail of the tape for the unified lightweight championships of the world. Lopez only 24. He's a little bit shorter, but will have a slight half inch reach advantage over Cambosis. Madison Square Garden doesn't get much bigger than this. Round one, scheduled for 12, and Teal comes out firing. This is exactly what you expect from Teofimo Lopez. The question is, how will George Cambosis respond to it? He says he will fight fire with fire. I don't believe that's a good strategy against the power puncher like Lopez. Lopez looking for that big overhead right. He said he wants that first round knockout. Already being warned about hitting on the break. No love lost between these two. They've been jawing all week. Good little counter left from Cambosis. It's a good check hook by Cambosis. That's exactly what he needs to do. Get respect from Lopez. Lopez said, I'm going for the first round knockout. If you're a fan of mine, bet on it. He is a 13 to 1 favorite tonight. You know, Cambosis has shown a willingness to fight fire with fire in the past, but his last two opponents, Lee Selby and Mickey Bay, haven't been a fraction of the kind of punchers that Teofimo Lopez is. In boxing, you're taught not to go looking for the knockout. Just let it unfold by itself. But Teofimo, over-aggressive with that overhand right. I think Cambosis caught on to the timing of it already. That's what you want to see from Cambosis. A steady diet of jabs, scoring points, while Lopez looks for the big shot. Big swing and a miss with the left hook from Cambosis. Everyone predicting an early knockout for Lopez. Cambosis said, I think I'll clip him early. If he comes guns blazing, I will catch him. And he's looking for it, that's for sure. That was such a short right hand right there. That was a perfect timing by Teofimo. No big right hand connected right on the chin from Teofimo. And again, Cambosa's not going anywhere though. Yeah, that was two straight, clean right hands to Chino Cambosis. And you're right, he took it pretty well. Got another one in there. Cambosis just eating these right hands. Cambosis has eaten four right hands and still up on his feet. Uh, his instinct is to get into a firefight with his opponent. Oh, what a right hand from George Cambosis! And the takeover went down! That's what happens when you go looking for the knockout. Tio Field just got dropped. This crowd is stunned. I like the body shots now from Teofimo Lopez. He's not head hunting anymore. Lefts and rights to the body. That's keeping the elbows in by Cambosis. You still feel like Teofimo Lopez hits a lot harder, don't you? Absolutely. He's the bigger man, the stronger man, but Cambosis, eyes wide open, looking for that right hand. And he could do it off a of uh, shoulder roll as well. Cambosis does a good job of keeping that chin tucked in. So even when it looks like they're landing big, it's off the top of the head. That right lands for Cambosis. Like you said he needed to do, Sergio, he's got to get his respect. Every time Lopez hits him, Cambosis answers back. He answers back and he doesn't get out of distance. That's why he's still dangerous, Cambosis. seconds to work with. Oh, that rock Cambosis right there. But the legs are under him. That's 
that's the jab that Lopez should be throwing, and it's Cambosis catching and rocking the head back of Teofimo Lopez. Another stiff jab from Cambosis. Good round for him to bounce back after it was Lopez, who had a solid last round. Look at Cambosis go! as Lopez fires back. Rights and lefts from the takeover. Quick, 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 quick. Step back, step back. Go on another overhand right from Camposis, who's all smiles. Lopez is having success with that jab to the chest and to the belly and that right hook to the body. And Sergio, when you go into a fight thinking you're going to blow a guy out, and all of a sudden he's still standing in front of you after five rounds and could be actually winning the fight, how does your mentality change? It changes drastically because everything that you thought was going to happen, what didn't happen? So you got to you gotta go to plan, plan B and C. Every time he throws that jab, Cambosa's is coming with a check left hook. And there's Chris Mannix's unofficial scorecard. Four points ahead is the Australian. Yeah, 68-64 in favor of George Cambosis. I thought he's taking control over these last four rounds, out punching Lopez, landing cleaner shots, just doing great work in there for George Cambosis. And even in in when they mix it up, in the middle of combinations, Cambosis is still getting the upper hand. Even though Teal Fee was landing some solid shots, Cambosis comes right back. Look, coming in. I would certainly have said Teofimo Lopez because... Oh, well, right hand! A game-changing right hand! Camposis looks unsteady! And now Lopez teeing off, but Camposis fires back! That's the first sign of weakness I see from George Camposis! And I love the look right now in Teofimo Lopez's face. No anxiousness, just pure calm as he sizes up George Cambosis. The crowd buzzing, they sense something. Quick, quick! This is a heck of a fight. It really is. Chopping right hand there by Teofimo. Cambosis can't get hit with those shots. Ducking down to the same side like that. Teal Fuel bound to catch him. Good solid round and perhaps the best round of the fight for Tia Pima Lopez. Let's see Chris Mannix's scorecard now through nine full rounds and it's getting closer. Much closer. 86-84 in favor of George Cambosis Jr. Tia Pima Lopez though looks like the fresher fighter and in that last round, the ninth round. Oh and is that a knockdown? It is! It was a chopping right hand that he landed in the past fight, in the past round, he kept dipping to that same side. Cambosis finally caught up to him. Teofimo Lopez is one of the better finishers in boxing. A minute 45 to go in this round. Let's see how much Cambosis has left. Will he try and go toe to toe? Here comes Teo. Lopez going for the kill. Cambosis standing right in front of him. He is a Spartan warrior through and through. I tell you what, though, if you're Lopez, don't just look for that one punch. You flurry, and Harvey Dock, the referee, is looking at him hard. You can score a knockout that way. Now Lopez finally starting to talk trash. He's been very quiet the last six or seven rounds. What a war. What a war. We're one punch away from a big knockout from either fighter. But the momentum shifted with that right hand by Teofimo. And Sergio, this feels like a missed opportunity at this point for Teofimo Lopez. He had Cambosis hurt. If he just swarmed him and threw punches, I think that would have picked up a stoppage. It's hard to go for that stoppage when Cambosis continues throwing that left hook. Every time Teofimo comes in, Cambosis comes with something hard just like that. What a battle here tonight. Everything we could have asked for and more. We've seen a tremendous rally by Teofimo Lopez and incredible heart from George Cambosis. And he almost caught Teo coming in with that left hook. Just barely missed the chin of Teofimo. Oh, 
Lopez punched him out, punched himself out a little bit. Quick, quick, quick. Both these guys throwing the exact same punches. It's like Teofimo's fighting in front of a mirror. We head to the champion, Jim Rounds. And that cut is still bleeding above the left eye of Teofimo Lopez. The quarter tried its best in between rounds, but did very little to stop the bleeding. They will not stop this fight with three minutes to go. Both corners should have told their fighters, you have to win the 12th. Last year, Teofimo Lopez dug deep and won the last round against Vasily Lomachenko. He may have to dig deep to win this round and win this fight against George Cambosis. Let's see Chris Mannix's scorecard here. As we enter the final round, he's got Cambosis up by one point. Picked up the win, or picked up the round in that last round, and he is now possibly one round away from the biggest win in Australian boxing history. He looked down and out. He looked fatigued, gassed in the 10th. He came back to dominate the 11th. Can he win the 12th, Cambosis? Right hand. Nice combination work from Cambosis, who's winding up the right hand. Those are still sharp punches by Cambosis. Lopez still got to be weary. It seems like Lent Lopez still hoping he can land one big punch. And Sergio, this is what George Cambosis told us he trained for. All those months, all those postponements of this fight, his child was born, he kept training. His grandfather died, he kept training. He has been waiting for this moment for a long time, and he is fighting like a guy that is ready for it. Blood continues to pour out of the cut of Tiafimo Lopez. He's never been challenged like this. Many thought it would be a walk in the park for Lopez. It has been anything but a hellacious 12-round battle. Under a minute to go. Cambosis is not going anywhere. He already felt the power of Teofimo. He is still trying to get that knockout with that left hook. Australia's got to be going crazy right now. The body shot by Cambos is not forgetting the body in this 12th round. 10 seconds left. George Cambos just fought the fight of his life. What a battle! Has the takeover been overtaken? And did the Greek Spartan take? Incredible fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' scorecards. Frank Lombardi, 115-111, George Cambosis Jr. Don Trella. 114, 113, Teofimo Lopez. And Glenn Feldman scored this contest 115 to 112 for your winner by split decision. He's still undefeated. And the new.